Were there any moments you wish had been aired? Yes. 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 <laughs> yes. yes. <laughs> Me and Kai. Mm. Looking back and seeing some clips, I'm like, that did not look good, oh. honey. Hi, I'm Layla. I'm Cynthia. And we're playing Text on the Beach with Cosmo UK. We've got a text. Why did you apply for Love Island? Um, I want a boyfriend. I want my mains. Okay, what about you? Why did you apply? I actually didn't apply. Um, I got reached out to, but you know, I thought, oh, perfect timing. I wanted a good, kind of a bit of a change, and yeah, I'm 28, I need to find a man. How did it feel when you learned you were going into Casa Amor? Hmm. I was stressed. <laughs> I was really, really stressed. Just because Casa Amor has so much pressure mm. behind it, you get a yeah. few days, you've got to turn their heads, and yeah, I, I was stressed. I'd rather be a bombshell, obviously. <laughs> but no, actually it was the best thing, because obviously, you know, we've come out with best friends. Yeah. We've made so many best friends out of the girls. So, you know, all good, all good. How many days does Casa Amor go on for? So Casa Amor was about two and a half days, I'd say. Um, yeah, it was about two and a half days. Yeah. But then obviously you guys see it through the course of the week. Mm. It's quite short, it's very short. And I think that's where we say the pressure of it is mm. real. Like it's very, very real. The pressure is pressure. Yeah. <laughs> you both looked amazing in the villa. Did you feel a pressure to look a certain way when you went in? Definitely struggled a bit with this. Cause obviously you're going on TV mm. and you're in your bikini. So there's obviously like, pressure to look good or to mm. feel good or you know pressure you put on yourself so obviously like as a woman you know with all the the pressures that we already face we're gonna feel a certain way but saying that I didn't hold back no. you know in the period before I still ate pizzas and I still you know ate what I wanted to eat to be honest no I didn't feel like I needed to look a certain way I am very confident in yeah. myself I didn't care what people thought about me. I, to be fair, that's a lie. The only thing, <laughs> the only thing I was worried about I know what was my say. wig. Okay. <laughs> I was ready to say it that for you. That was the only thing I was worried about. Also, I don't wear makeup, so going into that, I was like, I need to go now buy makeup and learn how to use makeup. So I went to Selfridges like three days before I left. Yeah was like, please teach me and just kind of bought some makeup and then took that in with me. Yeah. But you can see in the villa, there's loads of like clips when the girl's getting ready and I'm just sat there like this. <laughs> I definitely want to learn. Looking back and seeing some clips, I'm like, that did not look good, honey. Oh. <laughs> but your skin looks good. It doesn't, it, you know, I don't feel you needed it. What mm -hmm. is the pressure like to make a connection early on in Casa Amor? I'd say the pressure is real. I think mm -hmm. we're all aware that we don't have enough time. And obviously at that point in Casa Amor, all the boys are pretty much dead set on the girls that they have already. So to try and make yourself, I guess, more appealing than the other girl, it's very difficult. I was kind of like, oh man, I don't think this is gonna work out for me yeah. very well. But then things turned. It's weird for me, because I feel like as soon as I went in, I feel like I made a connection. Well, obviously yeah. I made a connection with Kai, instantly. You know, straight away I also had Will uh, approaching me, so I didn't feel any. I didn't feel any pressure. Weirdly enough, I think I was just so away with the fairies and confused with what was going on that to, to be able to feel anything. <laughs> to be honest, no, I didn't have a game plan. Maybe I should have had a game plan. Um, maybe things would have worked out better for me. I thought that I was going to fancy Ron and Casey. Yeah. Um, I'd fancied Will from watching his first episode. How long does the recoupling ceremony take? Well, a long time. A long time. A, a long, long time. time. I mean. That felt like five hours. Yeah, I remember when we got back, we didn't realize what time it was, and then we saw the time in the little cab mm. drivers. Yeah. And <laughs> I we was were like, like, like I, we were so tired as well, but it, they do take a really, really long yeah. time. What happens after you leave Casa Amor? So when you leave Casa Amor, obviously it's, you're dumped, <laughs> get out of there. You basically pack up all your stuff, and they take you to, you know, see the medic and, you know, they check your weight, things like that, just to make sure that you're healthy still yeah. and whatnot. And then you get into a cab, you go to an apartment, you cry your eyes out, you wake up the next morning, you go and have a conversation with the three girls. <laughs> <laughs> Apart from that, there's a lot of like, you know, paperwork and debriefing that they, yeah. they go through, um, like social media training, things like that. And a welfare check as well, just to make sure that you're okay after the fact. And then they pop you on a flight back home um, and they continue to check up on you throughout that process as well. We were kept separate from the boys. Every time they did get their hands on us, were very cheeky. I mean, they're just, I think yeah. they got really excited. Yeah. So they were like, oh, girls. Yeah, and then we had the flight home with them. Yeah. And that was fun. Yeah. Um, 
I got summoned by one of the boys. I walked down, thinking it was like the girl. I was yeah. like, cute. It's Bailey. <laughs> Nah, he's actually so cute. <laughs> he is cute. <laughs> Has anything happened with the Casa Amor boys since leaving the villa? Yeah, I mean, Sammy and Ryan. There is something going on there. I've never seen two people smile so mm. much when they like look at each other or talk Teeth, about each other. Gums, it's everything. Mad. Yeah. And obviously Bailey is just <laughs> asked me out on live TV, so <laughs> and he's done some cute things like <laughs> we were on the flight home and we were just chatting, he was like, hang on, I've got something. He's got a vegan bar, it just says vegan on it because he knows I'm a vegan. He's, he's sweet. He's making an effort, he's, he's making an effort. Were there any moments you wish had been aired? Yes. 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 <laughs> yes. <laughs> In particular, I think it was when we met up with the three original girls um, mm. after the recoupling the next day. Me explaining that Will did say that he felt guilty and that his head was jumbled. I did say that, but maybe they didn't need to include it in that moment because Will had said it the night before. And also, actually, sorry, before I forget, me and Kai. Mm, like, yes. The whole thing is obviously about me and Will, and that that was a, a big thing, you know? Um, but going in, I instantly connected with Kai. I hadn't spoken to anybody else. You know, we spoke, we, we were, like, had such a great chat and flirty, and then we did the challenge. They didn't show mm. half of Kai and I in that challenge. I'd mainly say as well, like, I think it kind of shows that I was mainly pulling Casey for chats. No, that was not the case. I pulled Casey for two chats, maybe three at a maximum. And then for the duration of my time, he was pulling me for chats. So, you know, you just have to remember that it's TV. They need to do what makes sense for them. And also, you know, for excitement for the show. Is there anything you wish you could have said to the girls or boys that you didn't get a chance to? I didn't like Will's use of the word mistake in his speech, just because, you know, the two days after we'd kind of like ended things on a romantic level, we were still like so friendly mm -hmm. and so close and still getting on, you know. We still spent the majority of our time with each other. Yeah. Um, so it was disappointing to be referred to as a mistake. I understand what he's trying to say, it's just, when you're the person, it's mm. not It's not nice. So yeah. that would probably be my thing. Do you have any regrets from your time in the villa? No. I actually, I Neither. don't. No? Yeah. Good. I yeah. think when you remain true to who you are and you would do exactly what you would do on the outside in the villa, there's nothing to regret. Which couples do you think are genuine? I definitely think Ron and Lana are genuine. 100%. I think, think Kai is the most genuine person in there, so I'll go with them as well. Which of the dumped islanders would you couple up with? Oh, is this from all time? Because Ovi. <gasps> no! I am here. That was my... <laughs> Who would you like to see win the show? I would say Tanya and Shaq. Yeah, Tanya and Shaq, all the way, yeah. big up. We love you. Thanks, Thanks for watching. watching. Bye. Bye.